Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today we're going to be making Titan larger than Saturn. So if you didn't know, Titan is the largest moon of Saturn. So this is going to get it pretty interesting. So um, yeah, welcome back to this episode of this series I guess. Um, can you call it a series? I don't know. So, so far we've done, what's it, we've done making the moon larger than Earth. We made um, Deimos larger than Mars. We've also done Triton larger than Neptune. Yeah, that was right. And then we did Ganymede larger than Jupiter, but the thing interesting about this, I think, is is that um, I think the distance from, from in between Titan and Saturn is larger, or the largest distance between two objects we've done so far, because I'm pretty sure the distance between Titan and Saturn is larger than the one between Jupiter and Ganymede, so this could get pretty interesting, but anyways, let's go up into my custom system, and also guys, remember, from the live stream, I still got that system saved that we made for our subscriber system, so I haven't finished that yet, but... Yeah, there we are, so let's go to the non-moons one here, and let's um, hit play, and let's go into the Jupiter one, so here we are, oh no, 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 Jupiter, what am I saying, Saturn, now let's add, um, or pause it, add moons to the planet, slow down time, and as we can see, we've got a lot of moons here, so this is going to involve a lot of carnage, I want to say, so there we go, and then Titan, it's all the way out here, so yeah, pretty lonely all by itself out here, I guess, so um, looking good, and if you want to get a quick look at the orbits, there you go, Saturn's little solar system is quite big, honestly. So there we are, so let's um, actually turn this down, and then let the um, the mayhem commence, I guess. So, let's do this. So we want to keep the orbits on, actually. And then what we want to do with Titan is, we want to double it in size. So we're going to lock its mass for now, and then we're going to put its size up to... I don't know, we want to keep the mass unlocked, what am I saying? So, turn it off by right. mass, wants to, we want to put that at 5,000, like that, so... On the radius, as I say. So radius is now 5,000 kilometers. So if we hit realistic, oh, whoops. Let's actually put that to 5,000 like that. That's how I want to do it. Perfect. Right. So here we are. So it's already a large size. And usually when we do these first few steps, nothing happens. But once we make it about four times larger, that's where the um, yeah, the real deal starts happening, I guess. So um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right. So yeah, we can speed this up, see if anything happens. But I don't think anything will. So yeah, nothing's happening here. Actually, any of these orbits are wobbling? Nope, nothing at all. So, looking good. And, and now we've actually doubled it in size. Titan is now the largest moon in the solar system. So, yeah, it'd be larger. It's even larger than Mars now. So, it would be classified as a planet if it orbited the sun. So, pretty cool stuff. All right. So, now let's make it ten thousand. So, it's a um, big step up there. Now it's getting a lot larger. So, if we want a quick look from Saturn as well. Titan is no longer just a little dot, it's now a proper sized object, so yeah, looking pretty good. If we want to call these tiny little moons here, actually not, we don't want to use that one. Where's Mimus? It's a come from Mimus. Where's Mimus? Oh, it's around here somewhere. Um, there, there it is. Alright, so, he's got Mimus and a giant crater there, so if we land on the surface of Mimus, let's have a little look around. So Titan should be... Titan? Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, we need to quickly, um... Okay, we'll just look from here, actually. This is easier. Alright, so... Uh, where'd, it, where'd it go? Okay, there we go. So, we want to zoom in. Let's go down, and then look from about here. So, this is pretty much a surface view. And as we can see, Titan... Looking pretty big. Alright, so... Let's um, go out from here again. Let's hit play. And let's see this. So... Let's see if any of the orbits will change now. So... Okay, the orbits are still all looking good. Let's lock that instead. Okay, so we've now going to double it in mass instead. So let's put it up to about 3.6 in mass. So there we go. So it's doubled in size or tripled in size now. And its mass has changed. So looking good. And wait, is that? It's all black. We don't want that. We want to give it some colour. So Tyson probably has like an orange sort of surface. So we'll put it something like that. So yeah, looking good. Turn it off. There we go. That's more... I think that's more appropriate, I think. Alright, so let's get a little brighter orange. Something like that maybe. Is that does that look good? I don't know. Yeah, I think I think that's good for now. So we've got like a dark orangey sort of surface. That's what Titan looks like in real life, I'm pretty sure. Because we have landed something on there, remember, so we do know what it looks like in colour wise, so cool stuff. Alright, so let's speed this up more. All right, anything happening? Okay, everything still looks the same. So let's slow down time again. Alright, so now. Let's increase its size again, so... Let's 
it up to 20,000 kilometers in radius. Uh, this is getting pretty large now. I'm going to pause it, and then we'll double its mass up again to what would be 7.2. Yeah, 7.2. So 7.2 moons like that. So there we go. Now when we hit play, these orbits may start to wobble. If we get a quick look from Saturn itself, yeah, Titan is getting pretty big now. So um, let's go, where's Mimas again? Let's go to Mimas again. We'll use it as our example. So Mimas, let's land on your north here. All right, and then have a little look around. So let's turn off those orbits. Turn this off. Got a good old sun over there. Have a little look around. So we've got Saturn there, very large in the sky. And then we have this massive, well, not massive, but this very large looking Titan nearby. Look, looking pretty scary, I guess. So um, let's actually get a little view from um, Mimas here. So there it is pretty beastly. So as you can see, Mimas goes around Saturn a lot quicker than Titan does. As Titan is barely moving, Mimas is going around and turning a lot quicker than these other ones are. So, yeah, there's a good view of it. Saturn, um, Titan there, so we can barely keep up with it, but there we are. Looking pretty cool. So let's um, go out of this mode again. See, look, look, it's, it's going around, but Titan takes a long time to go around, as you can see here. So, let's um, do it again. So, 40,000 kilometers, that is massive. Alright, so lock that and then we'll go to 40,000 we want to pause it as well so there we go 40,000 kilometers oh it's getting pretty big and then the radius Ooh, okay so it would be 14.4 I think like that so 14.4 moons so getting pretty large so we're doubling that up every time all right so if we just look from Saturn here Saturn is only about 20,000 kilometers larger than Titan is now so yeah this this ain't good Alright, so it's um speed so, and now the orbits are wobbling. See Titan's getting so big and large that its orbit or oh, it's starting to interrupt with the other orbits around Saturn. As we can see here, these um these or oh, these orbits look like they're changing as well. Yeah that they are, yeah. They're being affected by Titan, it looks like. So not good. And where's our good old buddy Mimus again? Mimus, where you at? Okay, let's have a look here. And let's um quickly go on the um, surface again, so let's have a little look around. Saturn's still looking good as awesome, and, or good as ever. Is that what I'm going to say? Alright, I forget it. Alright, so, Titan almost looks like a second gas giant now, just quite far away. So, if we have a look here, there's another moon there, what's that? Tefis? Okay. So, yeah, look how big that is. Wow, okay. So, let's um, go around the other side of Saturn again, get a good look there. And there we are. So, cool, cool, cool beans, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so this is the next point. When we double it again, it's going to be larger than Saturn. Because Saturn's only about 60,000, as you can see there. But if we double this, it's going to go to 80,000. So, yeah, pretty insane stuff. So, we'll go to 80,000 right now. Like that. And then we'll, um... Double 14 is, um... I'm bad at maths, I'm sorry. All right. So, double 14 is 18.8. So, it'll be like that. That's double that. So, looking good. And now... Titan is larger than Saturn. As soon as we go to this moon, Tef we'll use Tefis this time. If we go to Tefis and look on the north here, have a little look round. Even though Titan is a lot farther away, it still looks enormous in the sky now. So if we slow this down, get a good look here. We'll add the rings in as well, just to see if they get affected. So let's add the rings. There we go. So as you can see, we've got the giant Titan in the sky now. So now it really is a Titan as it is the largest, so um, pretty cool stuff there. Get a good Titan set, I guess. Good old Saturn as well. Alright, so, let's see what this is going to cause. So, I'm assuming it's Saturn's rings and probably will be affected at some point, but just look how enormous this thing is. Alright, so speed up time a lot more. And let's have a little look here. And actually, while we're here as well, we'll delete all of the other objects, because, yeah, we don't need them, so, yeah. Goodbye, Planet Nine. Goodbye, Sedna. Goodbye to the... Um, inner solar system as well, so let's delete those, Mercury, Earth, Vesta there, uh, Venus, there is Venus, Mars, uh, Jupiter, we'll get rid of that, Uranus, where's Uranus, let's put labels on, okay, Charlico, Uranus, and we'll just delete all of these guys out here as well, so, there we go, and they're all gone, right, make, make, who's left, and Pluto, goodbye, so, all, all we have is Saturn, wait, who's this, hey, what, whose orbit is that? Wait, who's actually... Oh, there, Hermea, there we go. Get rid of you. All right, so now we all that is here is Saturn. So now we hit play. And it, yeah, it runs a lot faster now, so perfect. All right, so we'll check the orbits again. OK, 
Okay, they're not wobbling as much as I don't... Oh, no, they are still wobbling, okay. Okay, so they've been affected quite a lot there, alright. Oh, the rings, they, are they changing? Let's have a look. Okay, the rings are still looking good. And they are really, really making it a lot slower. Oh, no, 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 they're not, no! Look, if we put it on flashlight, we can see that the rings are being sprayed out all over here, so they're not completely getting thrown up, but they're gradually just getting thrown away from Saturn, so... Titan is affecting all of the inner parts of Saturn's, like, area there. Wow, okay, so... Let's see what's up next. Alright, so that's ready, let's double it up again, so... 80,000, that is now we're going to double it up to 160,000, so... Oh, wow, okay, 160, and then 1, 2, 3, like that. Oh, this thing is huge. Alright, then we'll double 28, um, what's double 28? 50, 56, it's 56, alright, so... I think it's 56, alright. So there we go, 56 moons. It's not really, um, only 0 0.6 Earth, so we might need to do something about that. In fact, I don't think an object this large would have that low mass, so... I'm willing to say about, mm, about... Two... Three Jupiters, maybe? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, that is too big. I'm sorry. <laughs> we put it like that. Oh, I've just goofed it, haven't I? Okay, forget that. We'll, just, we'll lock that again. It was 180,000. Like that. That's what we want. So it has the mass and the radius there. So, Alright, perfect. That's what we want. So now it should no longer orbit Saturn as it is so large, it's going to overpower Saturn as we can see there. Yeah, not good. So Saturn will now actually have to orbit Titan instead. So something like this is going to happen. And actually, let's make all objects auto orbit. So yeah, it will lock on properly. Alright, so if we slow down time now, mayhem is about to unfold, guys. So here we hit play. Now here we go, so the entire Saturn system is now completely being controlled by Titan, as we can see. And all the rings are just, yeah, the rings are kind of screwed now, as we can see, they're all bashed into Saturn there, all scraping the sides. Alright, so where is Mimus? Where's our good old buddy Mimus, if it even exists still? Where is it? Mimus? Okay, here we are. So it looks like it's on a collision course with Saturn right now, but if we um land on here, disable both of these. Got Teffy's over there again, good view there. If we look round... Got the sun, then we have the enormous Saturn and Titan, which is almost three times bigger, almost. It is almost the same size as Saturn, even though it's a lot further away. So, yeah, this is crazy. All right, so let's speed this up, and now we'll see what's going to happen. Because I have pressed all to orbit, so they should orbit um, their closest body. But it looks like some are still going to collide with poor old Saturn here. So we hit play, and these moons are all going to go down. So, yeah, Mimus, I'm sorry. And Mimus is gone, there's an explosion right there. Alright, so, oh, looks like Titan's going to eat some of these moons up as well. Oh, no. Alright, so, there we go, got an impact there. Now Saturn is now a moon of Titan, so there we go. Oh, look, all the rings, all the rings have just been completely ruined as well. Look, you see all of the remains out here. So the rings are pretty much gone now, so we can remove them. Now we've got a very nice smooth simulation here. Nothing too crazy. Alright, so... This is the new um, Titan system, not even Saturn system, because Titan's the most dominant object now, so these objects are going bizarre, and it's actually in a binary orbit with the Sun, as we can see here, so pretty interesting stuff. Alright, so, still pretty much at the same distance as it originally was from Saturn, but now, well, oh, there's those holes there, alright, that's quite a big one there, alright, so, well, it's got a little bigger in size as well, but, so double 180, that is, um, oh, I'm awful, um, double 180, Okay, it's fr so it's thirty or three hundred sixty thousand kilometers. Wow, that is big. <laughs> okay, so we'll make them all auto orbit again, so like that. Now hit play. Oh god, that is thing is huge. Like, look at the size of this compared to the sun. That is pretty big. That's like almost as large as the largest planet. I'm surprised it hasn't turned into a um, gas giant yet. Because usually, once you get to a certain size, it goes to a gas giant. Where's Big Rock? How big is it compared to my, um... If you don't know what Big Rock is, it's basically a giant rocky planet I made. It's even bigger than Big Rock, and it's still not a gas giant yet. That's, that's weird. Because remember, it still is a rocky planet below the atmosphere there, so... Yeah. Alright, so... Let's speed this up again, and what's going to happen here? So, the orbits are just... Yeah, they're, they're kind of screwed now. So... Alright, so that looks all good. Now, we're going to double it again, because I don't think anything's happening. We can, we can run it, see if anything does, but... Yeah, nothing, nothing here's happening. We've we've just run a few years, nothing. So, 
This is where it's going to get insane. We're going to double that up again, and it's going to go to 720,000 kilometers. So that is humongous. So 720,000 like that, and then obviously its mass would um its mass would probably increase as well. So let's pull it up to ooh I don't know. It's almost as large as the sun now. So well, it's larger than the sun. Okay, that is ridiculous in size. Okay, so it's larger than the sun. So that means, oh, it's gonna be over a thousand Jupiters, maybe. Let's do, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, a thousand, ooh, uh, okay, let's do 500, I think. It's like that. Oh, now it is a star. It's just so large, it's a star. So it's, um, press auto orbit there. And it's very cold in temperature, actually. Okay, so let's hit play. And Saturn is gone, because I pressed auto orbit. You saw me press it there. I think, oh wait, did I press it? Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I did. So, even pressing auto orbit, this object still just pulls it all in. So, now the remains of Saturn's objects are all just going to get pulled in. As we can see, all the orbits are slowly going to disappear until nothing is left. So, not not good. And this now in a binary orbit with the sun as well. And there we go, all gone. There's nothing left. Titan has engulfed all of Saturn's system now. So, not good stuff. And some of the moons did survive, actually. We've got a few... Um, few lucky um, survivors out here. They're all little asteroid ones though, so they're not really significant, but there we go. And I think to end this off, we'll collide um, We'll collide it with the sun, because honestly, why not? So, make live. Now we want to zoom in here. We'll slow down the time a lot to a few minutes, and then we're going to see these two giant stars collide. So, let's put it down to a few minutes. Well, look how bright they are. Okay, let's put it on... Um, let's have a look here. We'll put it on... Um, we'll turn off the glows. Okay, there we are. So, wow, that's emitting a lot of um, energy, isn't it? All right, so here we go. Let's put it on a few seconds now. Let's hit play. And these two objects are about to have a giant collision. And the sun may win this actually, because it has more mass, but it is smaller. So I don't know how that's going to work. So, oh no, they just collided. Then they just pop straight away. So there we go. All gone. Oh, there's a few fragments actually. Look at that. Larger than the size of Earth. Wow. Okay. So speed this up and. There we are, all done. So, hopefully, you guys all enjoyed this video. And what should I do next? Should I make um, what's it? Um, what's the moon called? Oh, it's Titania. That's it. Titania, larger than Uranus, because Titania is Uranus's largest moon. So, should I do that? So yeah, tell me in the comments. What should I do for next episode? Or I could, or just pick another moon and a planet, and I'll do it. Like as long as it's in our solar system, I'm up to do it. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I don't want to mess with any exoplanets. So, wait, is that a black hole? Oh, they're just fragments. I thought it was a black hole. They look like a black hole there. Look, if you look from out here, they look like black holes. So Supernova's getting very, very big now. But, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoy this video. Make sure you all have a good day. And, yeah, make sure you leave a like and press the subscribe button. Help us on the journey to 600 subscribers if we've not hit it already. Because I am actually pre-recording this. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. But, anyways, um, hope, um yeah, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Goodbye.